All right, y'all. Y'all want to see one of the coolest, well, coming up mullets, but you want to see one of the coolest mods that I've done to the truck to date? Check out what this video is going to be about. What freaking console vault? Got my code in there. Keep all your valuables safe and secure. Nobody can steal nothing. Y'all stay tuned. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel where we do shit. Colts way. Today, I'm going to go over a little uh, pretty badass little mod here. It's called the console vault. I had a buddy over at... Uh, Foxtrot 4x4. I'll put the uh, website in the video description. I'll put it up on the screen somewhere as well. But my buddy Frank sent this to me uh, just to have. And, and no, he didn't ask me to do a review on it or anything like that. I just, uh, I did. I didn't have to make a video. I could have just put it in the truck and rolled on. But um, I kind of want to let everybody else see what it is. This thing here is probably, I don't know, it's probably over 10 pounds. It's pretty heavy. Anyway, it's called the console vault. So you put it in your truck. You have your own combination where you can get into it and keep all your secure stuff. I mean, I, I, my gun will probably always still stay out. Um, if it ain't on me, it's right there. When I get out of the truck, it comes with me. But if I have any money or any other things, I could I could put in here and keep them secure. But um, basically, you can get it with a three-digit or a four-digit code. Um, the code's right here. It's I mean, I guess I don't I don't care if y'all know my code. It's zero four five zero Colt forty five. That's everything. Um, but from the factory, it comes all zeros. And what you do is there's like a little hole, a little bitty old hole right here. And you get a paper clip or something and you turn the dial, push in on the hole, pick whatever code you want, and then release the paper clip and you've just set your code. But, um, I'm gonna do a little install video on this real quick. One thing I like about it so far, um, trying to hurry, put my code in here. Uh, one thing I really liked about it is that it, it's it's heavy duty, um, and the other thing is when you open it, it's like spring loaded. So there's some heavy duty springs right here, but when you open it, that sucker just flops open, which is cool as hell. But anyway, um, the only thing you're really going to need for this install is a couple lattes. Um, you're going to need, uh, I guess you could use a ratchet. A ratchet if you want but I got a little impact it's a half inch socket and then I have a um, an 11 millimeter um, and it comes with these sorry get my stuff together comes with this little plate right here and you'll know what is what because it's got a little sticker that says the front so you'll put this towards the front of your console anyway I'll show you when we install it and it comes with four four screws and four nuts and that's all you need to install it. Uh, like I said you can use a ratchet or an impact, I'm gonna use the impact just because I don't take it easy on nothing. So anyway, let's get to the truck and put her in. Oh, well, hold up, hold up, hold up. Get your boys working with, son. Huh, huh? You thought I was gonna cut it, didn't you? You thought I was gonna cut it, huh? No, sir, she's here to stay. Okay, so. First thing you're gonna have to do is take this piece and, well, just pull that sucker out. If I, you break it, oh well, you're not gonna need it no more. And it looks like this piece come out too, but this piece goes here. You gotta pull this out too, so don't don't even worry about it. Cut my damn hand up. Um, so then, once that's done, this is that little bracket that come with it. It says front, so you take that out. Where you put you take all this out put this bracket in here like this to the front okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to have to leave it down like that then you'll take your safe or the console the lid of it the vault part and you're going to have to finagle it in there somehow uh, Okay, then you open it like this and you're gonna have to lift up real hard. You're gonna lift up as much as you can and then you lift this bottom bracket up and it's gonna, there's two little bolts that the holes will line up on. I'll show you here in a little bit, but once you lift that up, you're gonna take these nuts and put the nuts 
on the little studs in there. Okay, then you have to do, and I'll show you all of this here in a little bit at the end. And then you'll lift this end up. If I can get my hand in there. And there's two holes here as well. And you'll have to lift it up. And it's gonna, I might have to lift a little bit more, but let me see. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to lift the, the bolt up just a little bit more. Looks like I got it a little too high. Just take some, there, now you'll know when it slides on there. So, put that nut on there. And I'll put this, this nut on there. And then it comes time for the self-tapping screws. And there's already holes. And I'll show y'all here a little bit too. I'm just trying to line them up real quick. So once I get them all lined up, I'll come hit it with my impact. Some people probably just do it with a socket. I just, I can't see really. So get that in there. If I stick my head down there, you're not going to be able to see nothing on the camera, so I'm trying to not do that. So there's that. And you'll have this is the half inch, I believe the half inch was. Inch was for the nuts, and I'll do this one off camera. I don't want to get up in the in the way of the camera. And where is the other socket? There it is. Then it's just tighten down these self tappers. The camera's vibrating. I can see it. This one come out. Anyway, I'm going to tighten up these last few off camera so you don't have to look at my balding head. All right, so I've got everything tidied back up. Put your mat back in there. Uh, don't way stupid. Put your mat back in there, and you're good to go. Um, that's it. I mean, it's, it's, it, it's in there. I'm pulling on it hard, and it locks right back up. So even if they get in that, you know, you put your code in, twist it, boom, reach in there, get what you got to get. But that's pretty badass. Um, like I said, if y'all want to get one of these, head on over to foxtrot4x4.com. They got them in stock and, and uh, old Frank will get them shipped out quick. But that sucker right there is sweet. You can put whatever you want in there. Um, I'll show you what I'm, what I'm going to carry in there. Just give me about 10 seconds. Little old sneak peek, what your man keep up inside of here, son? What? What? Bush. That's what your man's talking about. Mmm. Friggin' delicious. Now, one more quick thing before we end this video on a goodbye. But uh, I did a video before on the console organizer, and I just checked, and you still can use the console organizer. So, um... Here's inside of my, my vault, and I've still got the hard console organizer. It took a little bit more to get it in, but I got it. So I just carried a bunch of 9 mil bullets with some duct tape. You can light duct tape on fire anywhere, and it'll catch fire quick, and you can't never have enough bullets. But all that stuff is going to go back in here. I wanted to do an install video on the vault, and then I wasn't sure if this console organizer that I had was still going to work or not, but it does. So anyway... All right, guys, it's seriously about a one and a half, two latte job. That's how I'm going to start ranking these jobs from now on, how long it takes. And I'll probably drink a little faster than a normal person. But uh, one and a half, two lattes, the third one you can just enjoy. But look, I do appreciate all y'all watching the channel. Uh, thanks for watching this episode. If you want to pick up one of these vaults, foxtrot4x4.com. I'll link it in the video description. As always, appreciate y'all watching. God bless. And just send it, son.